What's up guys, Matt here coming at you with a quick mod to the FMS Hummer EV. Today we're going to be installing the NIST Portal Delete Kit for the FCX24. So we're going to ditch the portals on here by installing this kit and just see how it changes the stance of this truck. Now I also want to change wheels and tires, uh, but originally we're going to start with putting this on and putting the stock wheels and tires back on just to see how we change sort of the stance. And then we'll go to something like this. I'm probably going to mount these right now. Uh, I actually kind of like the look of those wheels on there, but we may pick out a set of wheels just for this truck at some point. But I already had these kind of mounted up, and these tires seem to be about what I want on here. I don't want them too small because it's a pretty good-sized truck, so it would look silly on some real small tires. Uh, but we definitely need better traction, and I just kind of prefer the 1.0 wheel look. So we're going to start with this, check it out, see what all is involved, and uh, then we'll see how we're sitting after the mod. So the way this sits stock, we are around 38 to the side step. If we set this up about 38 millimeters, that's where this is sitting right now. So we'll see where it's sitting after we get these installed, see how much it lowers it, and go from there. All right, so it's finished up. We were sitting at about 38 millimeters to the bottom of this running board here. And now you'll see, yeah, we've dropped to about 28. So 10 millimeters, this thing's been lowered. You can see it sits down around these tires much better now. Just looks better than it did originally, in my opinion. Now, I'm gonna probably put these on here, which are just a little bit smaller than these. I think will look even better. And obviously they're gonna be a better tire. They have foams in them and everything. So um, it does drop this very well. The only thing I don't really like about this kit is the steering link. So I was trying and trying to <laughs> make this work with the steering link on the top side of the knuckles, but the toe was just terrible. Uh, it, I went and looked at the pictures of the kit and it is actually meant to mount on the underneath side. So just put your steering link very low. So I don't know that we really want to go this route for performance um, type vehicles a lot because this steering link is very low now. You can see like the diff cover hangs below it, but the steering link is almost as low as the axle. So um, that kind of sucks. I did have it in there with this on the top side. Your clearance is very tight with the upper um, steering link here. So I guess that's why they just made it mount to the bottom but it's, man, it puts your steering link very low. So it definitely works to lower this well. You're adding the brass, so we've got a lot of weight down low. The rears are brass as well as the front. So you're adding some weight while lowering this thing. So it should perform much better. So we're gonna do a quick speed run here. On the left, we have the K5 flatbed, which has the same transmission, axles and everything as the Hummer on the right had initially. Now we've done the portal delete on the Hummer. So let's check our wheel speed in low and then again in high. So you can see in low, we have gained a little wheel speed. Now let's run them again in high. And we, again, we've gained just a little bit in high. So this is not an accurate test at all, but a little bit later in the video, I'm talking about sort of the slop that I'm feeling in the Hummer now. And I wanted to show you guys, and like I said, this is really probably not accurate at all, but I did want to kind of see how much slop we had in both of these. These are both powered on in low gear, and you'll see sort of the rocking that you can get. Now with these both pushed forward, the tires are pretty even when I hold them, just a little pressure on them there. When I roll them back, the Hummer tire is back just a little farther. And I don't know that you guys will really see that, but it does just feel like there's a slight more slop in there. But honestly, there's just a lot of slop in these trucks, period. So there you can see the two. So you have that anyways. It's just a little more noticeable to me when you delete the portals. So I think I picked up a little bit of steering angle. It was hard to tell on the bench, but driving this, seems like maybe I picked up a little bit. Lowering it, 
This has definitely helped side hill. I would have already dumped out right there with stock truck. That's probably going to hurt me in some places. I'm going to high center on the belly of this thing now. So we're going to have to see how that affects us on some hills. Curious if we can even get up this now. Let's see. Yeah, our belly still clears that. Those tires eating it up. Side hill on this thing is great now, though. Like you can tell, you're not reaching that tipping point near as quick. Drives a lot better. Just gotta see how this slop affects us on some more technical stuff. Imagine with this thing being as long as it is, it's going to do some massive uphill lines. You can definitely tell there's just more slop. I guess we're just filling all of the slop from the transmission now. Whereas the portals having extra gears there kind of took up some of it. I don't know. I always kind of thought the slop was a combination of both, but it kind of feels like it has more. Look at that. Dang, didn't even stutter on that. That's where the long wheelbase is just awesome. You see how it's a little more lungy. Of course, this is still just stock brush system in here. So let's see how it does here. This is like a combination of uphill, side hill, a little bit of everything. There's no way this truck would have even probably started up this before. Look at that. So much better. Can we turn and go up any of this? I definitely would have already looped out the stock truck. Don't really seem to affect me there. Dang. <laughs> if it's straight uphill, it's just going to destroy it. This 100% drives better, though. I can deal with the little bit of extra slop for the performance we're getting out of lowering this. This is so much better. I'm not even kidding. Because we've added that a little bit of weight. We've lowered this thing down. I love it. So much better. So I apologize for not doing turning radius tests with this. I do feel like I'm getting maybe a tiny bit more steering. It's not like running ISO axles or anything. 
But the result of lowering this is huge, in my opinion. I do think this is a very good upgrade for this thing. And look, I really thought we were gonna hang the belly on that and it still did it. So usually if you can get your front bumper over it, you're good. <laughs> I'm not too sure I'm gonna leave these mall crawler fancy looking wheels on here. But the thing's driving pretty dang good, so maybe we will. So I feel like you do have to be a little more careful with the throttle. It's not quite as smooth. But it's, I mean, it still does okay. You can see there, I feel like I'm a little more start-stop and just lungy. Right there when that it hits a certain point it just kind of takes off a little bit more than it used to but i think i can live with that you'll really notice on this clip when i get into some of the tougher spots and i'm catching a little bit of roots and just spinning and trying to go uphill in general that high gear just seems to stall out quicker than it used to. Right here, I'm in high and it just kinda, it won't pull, it just stalls out. Now it's never had a ton of torque in high gear, but it seemed to have more. Um, so high gear was a little more usable. It was almost useless on this hill. I would click into low gear and actually had a little better results. Now that low gear has a little more wheel speed, it's actually more usable. This was a pretty simple install, so I didn't cover that portion of it because that can sometimes get long and boring, but you're basically just removing the front steering knuckles and rear hubs, pull the entire axles and everything out. This kit comes with new axle shafts and everything. You just slide it all in, bolt it on. Now I was missing a couple screws that went into the front steering knuckles that went through the steering link itself. So I had to just find some screws that would work, hopefully, the other kits come with those screws, but mine was nowhere in the kit. <laughs> so it's kind of an odd trade-off because I feel like low is much more usable now. Like you can actually bump up things in low much better than you ever could before. But then high is a lot less usable. So like this right here, I just got up that in low, whereas I feel like normally the FCX would struggle to get up that in low. I'd have to hit high. But when I do have to use high in a really tough situation, we've lost that torque. So it makes the areas where you can use high a little less likely, you know. But low is actually better, in my opinion. Besides all of the slop. of that in low that's pretty amazing so you guys let me know what you think about this um, are you looking to lower your Hummer because if you are this is a great way to do it I had to try this right here because it's a very tough hill. And I don't know if we'll get it because of the bumpers. Let's put it in high. Oh. Oh, it made it in high gear. Look at that. I wonder how it's affecting our... Oh, we're 
cool as can be. And it's hot out here today. It's like 90s, really hot. This thing is as cool as can be. So no issues with any of that. Overall, I got to say this is a good upgrade um, just for the performance gain. If you're looking to gain quite a bit of performance, you get the brass weight and you're really lowering this thing. So I appreciate you guys watching. Peace.